Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to show you how to get the new exotic uh, sidearm called Forerunner. Uh, you can get this quest by purchasing the new uh, 30th anniversary uh, pack and you have to complete the first like introduction and then you can get the quest. So basically the Forerunner is basically the, the magnum from Halo, uh, or at least the first three Halos and maybe Reach. I don't know the magnet wasn't in here, which never mind. But um, yeah, so first, we, the first thing you have to do is get around about thirteen to fifteen strange coin. You can do that by just completing uh, public events, strikes, um, bounties, and bounties and um, the the me days of eternity itself. Uh, once you've completed that, you have to complete three horse bounties. Uh, I recommend you can do any ones which you find easier, but the one I the ones I did was the first three ones because all you have to do is get, use a certain weapon uh, through uh, a certain days of eternity, and the points, which are only one like sixteen thousand, won't be too hard to get. Um, so yeah. Now from uh, here on, I'm gonna pass it on to well past me and he'll explain the rest of this tutorial. Well, once you're done with that, you'll need to go to the as you can see here. These are from the nine. Okay. My ha my hands do not belong to me, says Zer, almost to himself. They are attached to this body, and yet their actions are those of the Nine, or perhaps the impossible horse. <laughs> His hooded visage turns to you. You can see the vague suggestions of his eyes. My hands have made you a key, Guardian. They engraved words upon it, but they did not permit me to see what they were. The message was not for me. For a moment, Zer looks at the bizarre splendor around him. Though I stand almost, I stand amongst treasure. I am but a conduit. They belong to you. Tell me, Guardian, he says softly. Is it not wonderful to be loved so deeply? Then, they then there is a ship, in his conduence. Reality shimmers around him and the for silence once more. I probably butchered that word. Dyslexia, probably. Okay. Now, what you need to do is get the strange key which you get at rank 4. And I don't remember what you actually cost. I think you can just get it. But once you've done that, you'll need to go to the the plains of, and then you'll need to go over this little rock thing over here yeah over here and it will take a little bit to get to where you need to be so hang on for a sec and there you go Ooh. Out there for a second. It's a bit finicky. Oh. Oh. Okay, face. Okay, use strange key. A barrier lowers somewhere up ahead. So now you go over here. And from this point. I have no clue what goes on. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually put the quest up here as well. So use the key and now go into the anomalous object. Which is behind these rocks. Which there would be a barrier here unless you use that key and you're at this step of the quest. You might want to watch out for that where are we not maybe I'm gonna ride it okay maybe not 
Oh. There we go. Now when there's a room of crystals which looks a bit like the, the crystals you see in the new dungeon. And that's a hole which leads to your death. Okay. Um, I knew about that. Probably have to go up here. I just noticed. Yeah, okay. So continue to go up here. There's this little thing here. Where there's a little bit of a jumping puzzle by the looks of it. Um Which is now leads you to here, which is a cryopod, which if I'm not wrong looks a bit like the one from Halo, but open cryopod, anomalous object. Now we need to visit Banshee, tower, you want to go to Banshee, as it said earlier. And he'll give you the weapon, but first, Banshee stares silently at the weapon you placed before him. Where did you, he begins, but then stops. Carefully, he takes the impossible weapon, an incomplete weapon, not the impossible, that's the impossible horse. The incomplete weapon in his hands. He tests its weight, sight, and considers the brutal efficiency of its design. You've never brought me a piece like this before, he murmurs. I'd remember. He finally turns to you. I can fix this. He says, I won't be exactly how it was, but I'll have to improve. <laughs> I don't know the make of any of the parts. I'm not even sure what kind of metal. He trails off again. Then he takes the weapon into the back of his shop. Uh, it'll shoot, he says, when he reappears. Fit Fingal kick like a warthog, but it'll shoot. Warthog. <laughs> at least it got acknowledged. Uh, he looks at the sidearm with reverse. A gun, a gun like that could make someone, somebody, a hero. He chuckles. Of course it, of course it wouldn't hurt to be a hero, to begin with. Yeah, because it was um. I'm guessing that's a reference, well, one, the Warthogs from Halo, but in the first game, the war, uh, the Magnum was quite strong, and to be a hero, Mass Chief. But like we said, it won't be the exact same, it has to be improved, which is a good way of saying that they can't have the exact same, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, okay, so what's this? Full stop. Oversized sidearm with extended range, however caliber rounds, and fires full auto with increased rates of fire, deals increased precision damage to unsure enemies or targets. Um, okay, well I'll see you in the Cosmodrome somewhere where I'm going to give this weapon a little test. Okay, so now we're in the Cosmodrome. Let's see how it fires. Oh, so it aims like the original Magnum, that's cool. Okay, so interesting things I've just noticed is, well, it fires like hit the barrel rifle, which it is with pretty much no um, recoil. And also, despite it being a primary weapon, it take it doesn't have infinite ammo. Which is interesting. So let's have a look. It's actually counted as a secondary weapon or an energy weapon. Oh. <laughs> it's quite strong. But I would say hand can strong. Not anything too absurd. It's pretty cool uh, to have the Magnum in Destiny 2, albeit slightly different, 
Um, I would. I'm hoping maybe somewhere down the road they'll add like a and I'll shade up like a an ornament which makes it look more like the classic version. And I'm ha kind of like the fact they kind of reference the the warthog Master Chief and also the Crypod, which I believe Master Chief was in in the third game. I haven't played it. All I know is he goes into a Crypod at the end of the game because uh, I saw like a an Easter egg video where there was an Easter egg to Master Chief in that game as well in uh, Destiny. Um, but yeah, I like it, and that's how you get the Forerunner, which is also kind of funny because the well, not kind of funny, but it's also I'm not sure that's a direct reference, but it's a, at least shares the name with the the Forerunners, who are um, you know the big bads of Halo f Four, and are the precursors to humanity, but not the precursors. So don't get that confused. It, the story of Halo could be a bit confusing, but yeah. Also, I just realized I also have the Forerunner tab, so I have the Forerunner sidearm with the Forerunner tab. That that was unintentional. But anyway, if you liked this video, hit the like button, square, and I uh, I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Bye.